भद्रम कर्ण शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाजत्रा स्थिरंग स्तुष्टुवागम सस्तनु व्यश्येम देवितयदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति नस्ताक्षो अरिष्ट ने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शांति 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 लेट एस प्रे टुगेदर we offer our salutations to the all loving being who endows all beings with consciousness we meditate on the lord who is the origin of the universe lord thou abidest in all thou art all thou assumest all forms thou art the origin and goal of all thou art the self of all thou art existence knowledge and bliss salutations unto thee may the world be peaceful may the wicked become gentle may all creatures think of mutual welfare may their minds be occupied with what is spiritual and abiding may our hearts be immersed in selfless love for the lord peace 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 be unto all जन्मादितरतारेस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदा य आदि कव मुह्यती यूर तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यत्रो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुहक सत्यम परम धीम दिस opening verse of a great spiritual treasure shrimad bhagavatam which is classified as uh, a purana in hindu uh, tradition of scriptures maha purana because of its size and because of its tremendous value Mm, the scriptures which are puranas mm, what it means sometimes that word gets translated as mythologies but that is not the correct way of presenting it mm, mythology uh, means something that has to do with just myths this is not something that is connected just with myths but this is and the story some historical accounts some fictions associated with that but the main idea is to give this the spiritual truths the highest uh, philosophy through the stories that is the the main purpose of these 
books because people like to hear stories so through the stories when these truths are given then they get appreciated better uh, they get taken in better so therefore uh, in bhagavatam which is basically the story of uh, mahavishnu the lord vishnu who is pervaded in the whole universe and uh, this whole universe as it were is the divine sport of that lord all that we see is the manifestation of that one divine reality which is immanent in everything while being transcendent over everything so this is the idea that is expressed through various stories and the most enchanting and most often sung and repeated in various plays uh, is uh, the story of gopis the gopis having the sport with their lord krishna which is known as ras leela the word ras leela ras leela means play uh, and ras this word comes from ras ras means the aesthetic essence of everything that is called ras like when you are enjoying say music then what you are getting out of it is ras when you are enjoying say uh, any uh, delicious dish again the joy that you are getting out of it is ras when anything you know you go to see a beautiful scenery and uh, you get the aesthetic appeal touches you you feel a uh, joy of it that again is ras so uh, ras is that for which we are hankering in this universe we hanker for the essence uh, of joy in everything so uh, the scriptures like upanishads they declare raso vai sah even in bhagavad gita it is mentioned raso ham apsukaunte that in everything uh, lord is the uh, the the center of joy the essence of joy we don't get any joy except from god although it appears in various different ways there is no joy no happiness apart from god so uh, we are hankering after that everybody is really attracted by that mm, the other attractions that we feel in the world they are temporary they change mm, like a child you see getting attracted to different toys mm, takes up a toy plays with it for a little while and discards it gets attracted to something else when we grow up same thing persists only our toys become different that's all it is so what is the actual source of attraction and that is called god that is called krishna the etymology of this word krishna is that which attracts karshayati iti krishna krishna is that which is attracting everyone and these everyone mm, all the souls they are called gopis gopi is not to be confused with females mm, as it is often done it is not a particular gender that is being appealed to everybody feels the attraction in this world and that attraction is for god alone all other attractions are secondary transitory they come and go only what is sustained is attraction for god the essence of all attractions so that is 
all of us are seeking that source of attraction that source of joy and from that angle we are all gopis gopis are uh, all uh, looking for that source and then they get around krishna because that is the source of all attraction so the this uh, uh, part actually comes in the 10th volume of shrimad bhagavatam which is the biggest of this uh, uh, great purana uh, it contains 4000 or so verses almost 4000 and uh, this these there are five chapters um, associated with ras leela they are therefore known as ras panchadhyayi uh, five chapters related to ras leela and um, although to uh, study it properly requires a long time and also a uh, lot of many discourses many classes need to be given even just to go through um, cursorily through all these verses uh, today um, i am going to just present an outline and essence of this whole episode that these gopis they were promised by krishna that uh, one day he will play with them he will have this sport um, with them on the bank of this river yamuna and seeing that it is an appropriate night of the full moon day uh, they it is actually the past full moon night you know that um, in the month of uh, indian month kartik which falls around november um, so it is uh, on that night uh, it is all usually the dust is settled because uh, the rainy season is just over and it is neither too cold nor too hot so at that hour a very uh, enchanting charming hour where the mind is very eager to find out the uh, happiness uh, anywhere in this world everything is calling so as to uh, go for the search of happiness mm, there are the you know, fragrant flowers that are blooming at night that is how the description goes here you know bhagavan apita ratri sharadot phulla mallikaha vikshantu manas chakre yoga maya mupashritah noting the advent of the sharad season that season is called sharad whose nights are fragrant with mallika flowers Mm, which are similar to jasmine but the night jasmines so mm, krishna too assuming his yoga maya mm, krishna is in the heart of everybody uh, he is not limited to a particular body mm, he is in everyone so but through his what is called yoga maya that the uh, veil uh, of a particular body is assumed and decides he at that time decides to call all the devotees these devotees are called gopis and they have been uh, given assigned a female form because women uh they have this advantage of uh, uh expressing the attraction that they feel and working on it so uh, therefore devotees you know women tend to become devotees more quickly than men you know, men keep on resuscitating uh, logically trying to analyze and never actually come to action Uh, women um, they sense it uh, without uh, uh, getting into the 
the all the logic and everything the rationality they just sense it that is why sometimes it is called women have that sixth sense whatever it may be this is an acknowledged fact that um, women uh, tend to become devotees uh, more quickly than men can so therefore um, all these devotees as it were are given this form of women uh, it is also there is a story that there was very one very saintly person in vrindavan where all this sport krishna lived his, his childhood there so there one very saintly person was living and one devotee you might have heard her, her name mirabai mirabai wanted to meet him and he sent a message well uh, he follows uh, very strict disciplines and uh, he doesn't see women mm. and mirabai then sent a message that i thought that in this place uh, krishna is the only man or everybody else is woman immediately that saint relented said yes please come so mm, all devotees therefore uh, are a kind of women from that angle their bodies may be that of man but still because of their devotional uh, attraction to lord they are termed here as women as gopis and gopi uh, because it was a cowherd village so uh, those who uh, keep cows ten cows they are called gopa mm, it is go means cow so gopa and then the female of that becomes gopi so mm, these gopis they uh, were there and krishna uh, just to invite them uh, played uh, halting great tunes on his flute and as uh, the gopis they heard this uh, very sweet very attractive uh, these notes coming from the krishna's flute uh, they just dropped right there whatever they were doing it is uh, very difficult to appreciate a person uh, attached to this world thinking that it is real uh to to think of this that these gopis dropped everything somewhere cooking the pot cooking pot was on fire they did not think that oh let me put a, or keep this pot at least down it will all get burned no they ran that is how the description is you know just uh, very uh, beautiful description that when that call came everything else became secondary god is calling uh, what uh, duties uh, what obstacles in the world can stop me uh, everything becomes then secondary meaningless god is calling that is the highest thing mm, uh, the boss of all the bosses is calling so all other duties they fade in importance uh, let me read you know that uh, hearing those love inspiring notes the minds of the women of raja flew to krishna with their earrings dangling in their agitation they hurried to the tryst with their lover but no single one amongst them knew the movements of others because of their total absorption in krishna this is important you know because uh, we others look what others are doing and then decide no are you going then i will also go oh you are not going then i will not go mm, now uh, the, uh, the there were no mobile cell phones those days but still they could have oh are you going no mm, then i also don't feel like going so 
not like that nobody cared whether somebody else is going or not going they just rushed in their haste and in their in the forgetfulness of absorption the gopis left the duties on hand and hurried towards krishna some engaged in milking put down the milk pail they were somewhere milking the cows just put it right there forgot and ran to krishna mm. some kept the milk on the hearth for warming but forgot to take down and others did not remember to remove the pot of porridge on the stove those engaged in serving food those feeding infants at their breast those attending to the personal needs of their husbands those taking their food all gave up their shores and hurried to krishna's presence nothing could stop them at the you know altar of lord everything is to be sacrificed that is why when abraham was told to sacrifice his son he said well yes god is telling that that's it although my son so dear to me yet i will sacrifice it because everything has to be sacrificed at the altar of god then then only we are worthy of you know seeing god uh, when see god by very definition is the highest isn't it god cannot be put to second position to anything uh, because then it will not remain god god uh, that day our a very idea of god means that which is the highest the topmost the best so therefore for god we can give anything away if i uh, tell heidi that heidi can you give me 10 dollars uh, i will give you instead 100 she will say very good swami that's a nice deal you know i'll give you 10 dollars you give me 100 let us do this uh, every day <laughs> because 100 dollars is certainly more than 10 dollars so you don't feel like sacrificing 10 dollars for 100 dollars when you know the value so when you know when you realize the value of god you do not feel hesitant about mm, sacrificing everything else so this these are the gopis who saw god as their all in all and therefore when god is calling that's it mm, no other thing could hinder them whatever duties they may be doing mm, they became meaningless it is that is how it happens that when for example when one is uh, in dream and seeing that well uh, in dream now i have to feed my infant baby and so in dream that uh, uh, that lady is breastfeeding uh, the baby the, and yet when the dream is over now now that is all gone mm, that she might be then dream is over okay i will have to now do some other works so that is how mm, this dream as it were uh, is over when god is calling you see the truth that and thus follow that which is um, which is real the Uh, this is how the uh, one can easily see that this world is like a dream mm, we sing that song also row 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 the boat mm, gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream mm, it's a dream and so mm, they the flute 
a sound of the flute from lord kind of breaks this dream and then all the duties that one was thinking of during the dream they also all vanish and they all ran to krishna's presence and uh, those who could not go because uh, their husbands or their other uh, guardians they shut them up thinking that it is not right to go at this hour they shut them up in room they they uh, just they drop their bodies and their minds went to krishna they 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 because of the intense heat of separation it is said here that uh, all their bodies they got separated from their bodies and thus the bodies died there and they went to krishna so uh, it is now what happened is that krishna saw them coming and just wanted to test them he said try to dissuade them okay uh, welcome but see this is not really the hour that women come out in this fashion also you have so many other duties to do mm, uh, see think of it you know uh, does your conscience not prick that you have left all that and are running here mm, what will people say about you mm, what uh, you are just uh, defying the injunctions um, of the scriptures and the code of conduct that is given for uh, uh, you so go back uh, if you say that we came to see you uh, okay you now saw me now go mm, gopis uh, hearing this from krishna um, i am just fast fast forwarding friends uh, it is uh, a long conversation really krishna's um, lecture is rather long here to gopis but the gopis said to krishna they became sad hearing this um, and it is the shuka the sage from whom this whole bhagavatam is being uh, you know given out this sage shuka Uh, there is a story how this whole book of bhagavatam came up that there was a king parikshiti who had been cursed that you will die on the seventh day from today by a snake bite and then he knew that that is going to happen when uh, a saintly person has told him that he was pretty sure that whatever measures he may take that's going to happen so he decided to spend all these seven days in listening to these uh, great tales inspiring the love of lord and thereby making the life blessed so that is how this dialogue is going on the sage who is narrating it uh, he is shuka uh, he is supposed to be completely totally free from any desire because of constant perception constant experience of god so this shuka is telling to parikshiti um, who is just waiting for death and therefore is not interested in any earthly things as such so uh, this shuka told him that hearing these words of govinda another name of krishna which uh, means etymologically the one who uh, controls the senses of everybody the controller of the senses the gopis became sorrow stricken and extremely despondent in dead silence they stood heavy with sorrow their faces bent down their red berry like lips dried by long hot breaths their toes listlessly drawing lines on ground and their eyes shedding collyrium tinged tears which were washing away the saffron dust on their breasts when these gopis who had abandoned all uh, for the sake of krishna 
heard from their beloved words of indifference unsympathetic to their attitude of love they moved by passionate love of him spoke in reply words choked with sobs generated by despair and anger the gopis started telling and this doesn't uh, you know behove you to say like this mm, it is uh, and then they said well uh, our feet have no strength to move away from you anymore they are incapable of moving away from you mm, you have uh, held them with such attraction that even if we decide that we will go away following your words our feet can't move our minds cannot move so therefore now please don't say these things to us to go away uh, it uh, let me read the moment from which thou the beloved of us uh, f- us forest dwellers permitted us to touch thy feet uh, it is since then well we have become uh you are slaves it is we are indebted to you completely we cannot move away from you so saying this uh, it, it's again a long uh, this thing plea of gopis and these gopis then uh, krishna agrees now to play with them that this is the play Mm, of gopis with the lord mm, imagine each of us mm, as an embodied being there is a self in us and there is the body the self and body they are constantly in play with each other mm, that is the uh, play of the gopis we have a physical and psychological personality and then there is this self uh, whom we feel for whom we do everything that i am that i am is playing constantly in this cage of body and mind mm, that is the play going on and this self in everyone is same that is krishna that is god in our ignorance we feel that i here and i there they are different i may feel sam has a different eye i have a different eye gloria has a different eye and so forth but actually i in all are is same there is no difference at all just as they you have water in a drop water in a jar water in clouds water in rivers water in ocean the containers are different but uh, water is same so we all are different containers the essence uh, the self is same in all that is god so that Uh, is playing with all of us see the raslila is going on in us all the time shri ramakrishna used to say that that hriday our heart our heart is like vrindavan where this soul and the our awareness of the world they are having a constant play that is Uh, the this lila ras lila that is going on all the time so uh, krishna uh, started playing with them uh, and they were so happy they rejoiced uh, when krishna was holding them now you know now it was not one person really mm, but every gopi there were hundreds of them as this book describes each saw that they had their own krishna mm, they had their own krishna playing with them and thus mm, they were very happy 
otherwise there would be quarrel isn't it hey that is mine and so forth and uh, the, the uh, poor one krishna would get torn being pulled by these 100 gopis but there was no such thing because every gopi could see that krishna is with her god is our common property you know we can all get god it is not like this that well if i get this then you will not get no such things about god it is if everybody has right to experience god get god that is our common property because god is the self of all so that god was being uh, playing with all of them it is uh, to give an analogy uh, this uh, book gives this analogy that it is like uh, the sun reflected in thousands of uh, water droplets when there is uh, a fountain think of a fountain and then so many these uh, drops of water rising and falling in each drop there is a sun at the reflection of sun in each drop now uh, the sun is not getting affected by any of that it is not really entering any drop it is just reflection but each drop uh, would have its own sun my sun so uh, that is how krishna uh, without uh, giving up uh, its uh, abode in uh, that domain of self unchanging without changing at all uh, krishna uh, was playing with all the gop- gopis no change in krishna and yet uh, he was playing with all the gopis this is how that is why it is it was called yoga maya uh, no change and yet apparently all it was changing that is why this analogy <coughs> that the sun without leaving its place in the skies um, is reflected in each drop playing with each drop so we all have this reflection of i there is i here i there i there in every one in every creature there is i and then that i of every one is really the reflection of the true one self now that is reflected in all and that is why just as we cannot take out uh, the sun from the reflection in water you see the sun in say a bucket of water hey here it is let me take out mm, you may keep on trying for ages uh, you will only touch water the sun will not uh, you will not be able to take out exactly in the same manner where is this i in the body we feel that yes there is i here try to find out exactly where it is and mm, nobody has been able to find out because it is not exact here as such uh, in terms of location there is uh, it is in uh, science in biological sciences even in physics this is one of the ongoing problems for thousands of years the locus of this consciousness where this consciousness is located so because it is not there it is felt there but it is pervading in and through uh, all of these very difficult to explain so that is the play going on and these gopis <coughs> they very naturally you know <coughs> even if we say win a competition a simple sum competition um, uh, in the school an essay writing competition um, and you win it um, 
इट इज सम वी फील रिलेटेड हाँ से हाउ गुड आई एम आई डिड दैट इट इज समाइम्स वी फील रिलेटेड इवन वेन देर इज नो कॉम्पिटिटर आई वन द कॉम्पिटिशन ओ हाउ मेनी पार्टिसिपेटेड जस्ट वन सो इट इज स्टील यू फील रिलेटेड वाव आई वन इट इट इज सो दिस गोपीज स्टार्टेड फीलिंग वाव हाउ फॉर्चुनेट दे आर हाउ मेरिटोरियस दे आर हाउ गुड दे आर दैट आउट ऑफ ऑल सो मेनी ओनली दिस फ्यू हैव बीन गेटिंग द प्रिविलेज ऑफ प्लेइंग विथ लॉर्ड लॉर्ड इज प्लेइंग विथ अस वाव हाउ बिग वी आर हाउ ग्रेट वी मस्ट बी एंड वेन लॉर्ड सॉ दैट देर इज ईगो coming in creeping in in them disappeared hmm lord disappeared the sense of ego and god cannot stay together hmm it is a very nice saying by a great uh, saint kabir that uh, it says that the lane of love is very narrow hmm either there will be you or there will be lord mm. you cannot have both of them mm. if you are there then lord will disappear if lord has to be there then you have to disappear mm. ego cannot uh, be tolerated so mm, lord disappears from them and then there ensues this episode of looking for god where did he disappear first they were very angry with him that eh yeah we were having such a nice time and then you vanished from us are you not ashamed and all that that is how the gopis started you know saying amongst themselves and to krishna why did you do like this how much you have hurt us don't you see well and they started looking for that uh, they started asking for the uh, to the plants and the trees there that have you seen lord uh, the lord we see the footprints just going here so lord must have touched you that is why it seems that uh, uh, your your whole personality they are saying it to the tree mm, that your whole personality has become so animated because uh, yes while passing the lord must have touched you uh, these many of these uh, uh, sentiments expressed here are uh, very similar to uh, the spiritual canticle of soul uh, by uh, saint john of cross so uh, these ideas the the gopis were so grief struck that well lord has gone from us and they started looking for that uh, and in that they found this is a very special thing that they found that there are the familiar um, footprints of lord but along the side there are the footprints of another gopi amongst them oh so lord chose just to take her abandoning all of us that made them more angry and agitated and then soon mm, they found that gopi also was abandoned by lord because she also uh, started feeling this sense of ego mm, that gopi is called here uh, aradhitah and that is how the word radha came mm, there is no mention of radha in this whole bhagavatam it is Uh, the creation of later uh, vaishnava saints and scholars uh, based on this probably that here the word aradhita comes so uh, the one who was specially worshiping krishna uh, very much attached to him that is uh, so aradhana means that to worship uh, and thus that radha uh, became a personification of that so 
otherwise there is no mention of radha in any of the old uh, these neither in mahabharata nor in bhagavatam so uh, they f- found this radha told them this special gopi that naturally she also was overcome with ego look lord gave up all of them but not me i am superior to all of them so lord dropped her also and thus we see that as uh, this uh, was going on they saw that krishna is walking in place where there are thorns so now their own sorrow was forgotten they saw that maybe these thorns must have pricked krishna's tender feet oh uh, how much pain he must be having because of that and they were just overwhelmed by that thought they lost all thought about themselves and thus when their whole thinking about themselves was gone then krishna appeared in the midst of them again and then uh, this whole this all this uh, what gopis were telling uh, all the while na- till this is known as gopika geetam a very beautiful uh, part of uh, this uh, these five chapters gopika geetam one of the verses in that is very familiar to people here uh, who listen to the gospel of shri ramakrishna classes and uh, these or read that book um, that that verse goes tav kathamritam tapta jeevanam kavi bhiriditam kalma shapaham uh, that verse also comes in this gopika geetam here one of the verses says that the gopis say that well we know you are not this son actually of uh, that nanda and yashoda no we know that you are the soul uh, of the whole universe you are the self of the whole universe who have incarnated uh, in this clan of satvata uh, for the uh, protection of this universe you have taken human form we know that so their attitude uh, was not just uh, running after a man now actually krishna's age at that time was just about 7 8 years old not more than that so <coughs> so you can imagine what kind of feelings one would have for that little boy and the description here is rather uh, you know very uh, amorous description so but you have to see that this is uh, uh, not the, that kind of, it is only a small child and also mm, there is no uh, man woman as such there although the language is that it is uh, and they all devotees everybody is gopi lord alone is the uh, man so to say there around whom this play is going on so uh, there is this idea very important um, it is and then gopis when they had krishna back amongst them uh, they started asking krishna Uh, one question that you know uh, it there is a, some sarcasm there gopis wanted to scold krishna for disappearing we love you so much and this is what you do to us mm. so they asked this question that uh, uh, you know there are different types of love there are people who love those who love them now you love me then i love you that kind of love there are some rare saintly people who love everyone irrespective of whether the other people love them or don't love them their nature is to love 
and so they love everyone there are others who do not love anybody even those who uh, love them they do not love them so we are wondering in what category does your love fall or actually what kind of love is the the best so this is a loaded question mm, that well you we love you so much and yet you did not reciprocate our love what category you are not loving even those who are loving you what to speak of the love of saints uh, who love everyone irrespective of whether they are loving me or not so so they wanted to and uh, see now the how krishna replies that uh, Uh, obviously, the idea uh, that Krishna, uh, you are the lowest form of a lover who do not love even those who love you. Um, but Krishna, of course, uh, could understand all this, and he said, "Well, uh, he describes that the first those who just exchange love, you love me, I love you." that should not even be called love it is a bargain it is uh, it is just like uh, it is commerce rather than love uh, then there is this those who are saintly people they love everybody uh, they are great people no doubt and those who do not love anybody they are heartless they are not even uh, worthy of being called as humans mm. but my love does not fall in any of the categories it is very special mm. i uh, vanish from the midst of my lovers so that um, the pang of separation increases so that their uh, attraction to me increases and thus they come to me more quickly so that is why although they love me i give more pain to those who love me that is the way i love my devotees so this is the way lord says that it is i love you there is uh, a question here that uh, uh, is asked by this sage uh, not this sage to the sage by the king who is listening to all this that how uh, this the lord who whose duty it is to establish the code of righteousness what should be done what should not be done uh, how he engaged in this kind of illicit uh, um, uh, unworthy of a good person's behavior uh, uh, just uh, alluring and uh, bringing all those uh, uh, women uh, away from their husbands and so forth and then making them attached to him and playing all this type of amorous sports the description actually is in a way very erotic uh, and why krishna did this uh, he should not have done these things uh, because this will uh, promote licentiousness this will promote all kind of you know uh, this uh, um, uh, immoral things in society why lord krishna did it and this sage replies well uh, lord did not move from his true nature uh, so when ordinary people when they do such things of course they are they don't have the capability of uh, withstanding that so that is certainly to be found fault with but um, this lord of senses who does not have 
any weakness at all, who does not have any desire, that Lord, when does it, it does not set aside the moral code. Moral code is in fact, become, it becomes more meaningful through these acts. These, uh, he says, therefore, mm, the ordinary people should not emulate such examples because uh, their minds get attracted to things uh, very quickly and thus they are not masters of themselves. They cannot uh, emulate these examples. They must follow um, all the moral codes so that their life at least uh, remains in some moral boundaries. God does not have this problem and therefore uh, the one who has no desires at all uh, can do these things, not those who are afflicted by desires. Uh, those who are afflicted by desires, what should they do? They should follow the advice of such people, uh, such uh, godly people and act according to th that advice, uh, should emulate their example only that part which uh, is in tune with what they are saying. So that part should be emulated, that part should be followed in life, mm, not uh, something that they are doing because of their supernatural strength which you do not possess. So uh, here uh, this these uh, five chapters end, we took a very quick a review of these, uh, just uh, with this idea that let us feel the play of God in us. God is playing with us. That flute, that calling uh, of God, uh, God's flute is going on even now. Mm, only the fortunate, those who, whose minds are ready, uh, can hear it. Mm, that uh, those minds who want uh, to realize, to experience God, they alone can hear it and giving aside, uh, pushing aside everything else, they rush to God. So uh, we can try, you know, to uh, at least feel that flute of God being played. Uh, let us strain our ears uh, to see if we can hear a little bit of that. Yes, God is calling all of us. We are all uh, having this uh, potential to be these gopis who have been described in the scriptures of devotion, uh, like Narada's aphorisms of devotion, as the uh, exemplars of the ideal of devotion. Yatha Vraja Gopika Nam, that is the aphorism uh, that Narada gives there. Uh, so that is why uh, this topic was discussed here. Let us try to feel that. Um, let us meditate for a few seconds. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, voice it. Yes, please. Yes, Charlie. Um, if one person has enough to eat, another person doesn't have enough to eat. So if one person experiences God, another person's an atheist. So doesn't that mean that if, I mean, God is in everyone, but can everyone be aware of it at the same time, or does, does it, only some can be aware of it? I mean, it seems like only some Well, yes, those who want to be aware and uh, do the right thing to become aware can become aware. Mm, it is... It is depriving someone else of the chance. No, no, nobody is being deprived. That is what I mentioned also. Yeah. Everybody has the opportunity. Mm, it is... Uh, uh, it is... Uh, 
that anybody who wants has the chance just because charlie got the chance doesn't mean yogatmananda uh, no all tickets are sold no ticket for yogatmananda not like that and the space is infinite mm, whosoever wants now if i don't want i cannot be forced mm. god says okay uh, whenever you feel like i am there for you i am waiting for you whenever you feel the uh, desire that strongly well yes then come to me i am waiting for you all the time shri ramakrishna used to say that uh, as long as the child a little child is playing the mother does not care you know she is busy with her daily chores and the child is playing when the child needs mother then the child uh, gives out a cry a really loud cry then the mother says oh now i have to go and attend to my child so similarly when we need god god is there for us uh, do we need it that's the question so uh the upcoming programs of course today right after this uh yes vishwanath you can start the offertory uh there is this music concert uh, a wonderful sitar player shrinivas reddy uh, who has performed here earlier as well uh, in company there ajit uh, acharya uh will be performing uh, just after this arati the performance will begin the uh, next sunday uh, it is the sunday after uh, this thanksgiving so the as always we speak about uh, the idea of thanks the uh, topic therefore is feeling grateful a spiritual practice and the uh, tuesday and friday classes during the week will go on as usual uh, the daily morning evening meditations that also will go on as usual there is a spiritual retreat coming up on uh, december 2nd uh, the the topic is that uh, what learning to breathe so it is uh, if you want to attend that day long retreat uh, please uh, sign up you can sign up in the office or you can sign up online as well i'll conclude with the closing prayers may the divine who is father in heaven of the christians holy one of the jewish faith allah of the muslims buddha of the buddhists dao of the daois great spirit of the native americans ahur mazda of the zoroastrians and brahman of the hindus lead us from the unreal to the real from darkness to light from death to immortality may the all loving being manifest himself unto us and grant us abiding understanding and all consuming divine love peace 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 be unto all